Hey guys, it's me Sylvia back with another video and today we are going to be doing a back to school life hacks video. So I know everybody is dreading going back to school. Some of you are already starting school. Some of you have a couple weeks to go. Whatever the case may be, I hope that these hacks help you guys out. Some of these hacks might be new to you and some of them you might already know about. But I decided to gather my favorite hacks and little school tips that I've learned along the way to share with you guys. You guys seem to really enjoy these type of hack videos. So don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. You guys have been getting way past what I've been asking you. So I'm gonna shoot for the moon here and I'm gonna ask for 12,000 thumbs up. My channel just passed 300,000 subscribers so the S Club is growing strong and I know that we can hit the 12,000 likes goal. So go ahead and hit that down below. Now we have 10 hacks to get through so without further ado, let's get to it. Now the first hack, you're walking into your classroom, you see the teacher, you've never really talked to them before, you've never seen them around. What I suggest is you just go right up to them, introduce yourself either before the class starts or maybe afterwards. Making this extra effort to go compliment your teacher or introduce yourself to the teacher will get them to remember you and like you, get to know you. They'll most likely grade you a lot more positively based on that. <laughs> Now this next hack is something I did all through high school, a lot through university. Listening to the sound of rain and thunderstorms will help to keep your mind focused and to ignore all the background noise. So I usually just search up a video on YouTube for a rain soundtrack, but I recently found out about this website that's called rainymood.com and this will actually play for you a 30 minute soundtrack of just rain and thunderstorms. So that once the 30 minutes of rain soundtrack is done, you know that you can take a break, you've been studying hard for a half hour. It's a really great way to stay focused. Now this next hack is really great if you're required to memorize a lot of information for your test. A great tip while studying is to chew a uniquely flavored piece of gum, something that's new to you that you don't normally taste. And chewing on this while you're studying and then also while you're writing the test will trigger the information that you learned while you were studying. So try this out, you get to chew on a really tasty piece of gum while also memorizing a lot of information for your test. This next hack helped me out a ton during presentations in school. So if you have a presentation coming up, all you gotta do is just change the color of the text in your presentation notes every few lines or so, so then it makes it a lot easier to not lose your place. Not only that, color coding the few lines will really help you to memorize it as well, just because your brain is more likely to retain the information that is colored versus a boring black text. Try it out, I know you won't regret it. Hack number five is great when you don't have a lot of time, but you really need to get your readings done. So what you should do is just read the introduction to the text and the summary of the text, and then just skim through the paragraphs in between. Usually the introduction and the summary paragraphs have the main points that you're expected to know. So reading those and then skimming the paragraphs in between is just as effective as reading the whole thing, but you save a lot of time. All you gotta do to keep organized notes and to memorize those notes a lot easier is to actually label your highlighter colors. Label those highlighters by different important categories that you're expected to know throughout school so your brain begins to recognize each color to that category of importance and then you'll be able to memorize a lot quicker. For example, label your green highlighter with date so you know to highlight all the important dates with your green highlighter. Yellow could be for important words, blue for important people, pink for relevant places. Doing this will not only organize your notes but it'll also really help you retain the important information so the seventh hack is really useful if you're a slow note taker. Everybody has a phone nowadays, so just whip that baby out and just take a picture of the chalkboard or the projector screen, whatever it is that your teacher is teaching on. Snap a pic with your cell phone for later and it'll make sure that you can get all the notes down, no problem. I think I did this the most often throughout school and it is just to use acronyms. This is such an easy way to organize your thoughts and to memorize lists or concepts. So it's basically just an invented combination of letters and each letter is a cue or a suggestion of the thing that you're supposed to remember. For example, a common acronym that we all probably learned about is Roy G. Biv and that's to memorize all the colors that are in the rainbow. R is for red, O is for orange, Y is for yellow, G for green, B blue, I indigo, V violet. So use an acronym to memorize pretty much any list that you're required to know and you'll find that an acronym will trigger the information a lot easier than it would if you were just to try and memorize it on its own. So this hack is just to set your class schedule as your home screen on your phone so you're not constantly having to look at your little piece of paper. If you have it as your home screen for the first couple weeks of school, it's so easy to just take a peek at and know exactly where you're going. Not to mention you'll definitely memorize your schedule a lot quicker. 
Now the last hack is great if you hate when your papers are ripping out of your binder. Instead of spending money on those little white ring hole stickers, you can just take some transparent tape, lay it on both sides of the edge of your piece of paper, hole punch it, stick it in your binder, and you'll notice that it'll stay in there no problem all year without ripping out. I like to do this especially with the table of contents in my binders or the cover photos because they're so important I hate when they rip out. So that is the end of the video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget, we are trying to get to 12,000 thumbs up. I know that we can do it. If you have a back to school hack that I didn't mention in this video, please let us know down in the comments. We could definitely all learn from each other and make the school year a breeze. And if you're not part of the S Club already, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button down below. We are past 300,000 subscribers. We are growing strong and we want you to join the family. So join us to stay up to date every time I drop a video and be sure to follow me on all my social media if you're not following me already. That's where I can really interact with you guys and we can be friends. So that's all for now. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. My feet are numb. My feet are numb. Holy shit. Oh.